Now, I also know that you're an avid fan of horror films. So, uh, what have you seen? Yeah. What have you seen lately that's uh, that you think is good? Okay, this is that's really tough because like I was kind of off horror films for a while um, since around the time that those uh, the so-called torture porn started, like around right. Saw and Hostel and all that. I have not seen one single Saw film. I've seen about. 15 minutes of the <laughs> of the first one and I just thought this is not this is not why I like horror so right. I was waiting for something it's really been a long time I got I got more into action and all kinds of stuff and, and still stuck with Cronenberg at least he's you know con- fairly consistent but he wasn't doing the kind of thing he used to do right and um yeah, and I've kind of given up on it as well, and it's a kind of also partly a reason why I haven't made a new Psyche album for a long time, because I used to love this atmosphere, and I sort of like would soak it in, um, you know, the, all the Argentos and everything, yeah. and, and also the Beyond, I used the sample from the Beyond from the Lu, uh, Lucio Fulci film in my song called The Beyond, of course, uh-huh. and, um, <laughs> and I, this whole uh, entire atmosphere, it was it was really important to me and I've been missing it and uh, recently I can now recommend at the moment um, this uh, vampire film called Let the Right One In from Sweden Absolutely. Um, because that is like finally a serious film where this this feeling and this atmosphere and this also slight sadness is all included in this film so yes. <laughs> I, I've really been uh, I don't know I'm trying to think uh, another one I liked as far as I, I guess technical action um, was uh, Cloverfield because it was um, it kind of was like the Blair Witch Project meets Godzilla (laughs) it worked for me because I like the fact that they they took the digital age and had the stupid shaky cam um, but still managed to even make that work that it was actually still scary that there was actually like things that happened that you couldn't really see all that well and um, and that there was danger you know, provided, but of course, this, this is nothing like compared to like a, I guess an Argento film or something like that. Right. I don't think there's been anything, um, you know, like in that kind of style. Um, that, yeah, I don't know. I can't think of anything else recently. I saw I saw a couple uh, uh, sort of trashy films. Um, this one called Dog Soldiers. Oh yes. Yeah, but I thought it was kind of fun because it was sort of like, uh, it didn't care if the things looked hokey. It was more in, interested in the, the story and the little twist that they threw into it. So it was kind of fun because, um, I don't know, I, I, it's, it's it's really kind of lean as far as, it's interesting for me because I used to like buy Sangoria and look at all that um, stuff and I was really totally into whatever's coming out. And, right. um, and now it's like all remakes. I've seen a couple of them like House of Wax and I saw, um, what was the other thing? Uh, yeah, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the, the remake. Yeah. Um, it's okay, but I think it, it doesn't work for people who are fans of the old stuff because like, you know, you've seen it and then you're just getting this kind of, I don't know, softer version, um, or it just, it's not, you can't believe in the people as much. I mean, right. it's either you've heard of all the actors before, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, is it, if there's, there's going to be a psycho family in, um, in something like that, uh, you don't want to see, like, any actors that you've ever seen in another movie. Right. It just ruins it for me. And so, um, yeah, now I'm kind of, like I said, I'm hooked on Supernatural because, um, I'd seen an episode a couple of years ago, and I thought, oh, it's okay, but I don't know, it wasn't really, I just didn't get into it, and um, and then I, I forgot what it was, a friend of mine suggested it to me, and I, yeah, it was just because the DVDs were on sale, <laughs> 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 and I thought, okay, they're really cheap, so just buy the first two episodes, and, and you can sell them later if it sucks, and then I got totally hooked, because I was like, um, it was just the first two seasons, and it was uh, it was almost like all that stuff that I've been missing the last 10 years right. in this one show. I couldn't believe it. I was like, there's a couple episodes that are just like watching the complete film, and they're only in 45 minutes, and I was like, whoa. I, I was completely blown away. I watched like about three or four in a row, because I just could not believe the level of... Um, creativity that actually like just when you think you, you've got it all figured out like okay the next one's going to be like this and this and this and this, they don't repeat themselves that much and so i was really impressed and um cool. yeah i'm really uh i can highly recommend it i'm one cool. of the <laughs> one of the 
fans. I am trying. I'm trying to hold back on going into forums and reading all kinds of shit. I just just did that recently today, yeah. and and I was like, oh my god, there's so many psychos <laughs> <laughs> for anything. I mean, it's like completely insane if you go on IMDb, like you'll ruin your life. And I'm, I, I'd like to. Uh, this is something that I like to to discuss in my. Uh, lyrics as well. The other thing that I was really um, always in psyche is, was always from the beginning till now about um, you know this, what's happening to humanity and society, and usually the horror <laughs> <laughs> aspect and stuff. And I mean, I've I've written a lot about these kind of developments, and I'm trying to think of like a, a way that I could also express that in the future on the on the next album. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, what it, what it's like to uh, even just pick any old film and then read um, all the people who hate it and all the people who like it and try to figure out, what, you know, what, I don't know, it's like, it's sort of, a, it's, it's hard to have an opinion or be human in the in the age of the internet. I mean, I, I right. find it very, very weird and I'm still trying to figure out, like, where, where is that going to go? And and on the, on the topic of the music, as you said, I, I've been really, I've been almost lost in it the last couple of years because I just thought, you know, holy shit, like, how can you actually make something as a musician that's, that's important enough to, to be heard and and just enjoyed and, and emphasized with and not torn apart and discussed and dissected about um, how it was sold or whether the image is right or, like, it's just crazy. Right. I, I wonder how people can sit down and enjoy something. Um, it's really tough, you know, it's like, I mean, I, I was a complete film freak, and my brother and I w went out, like, almost every second night for a, a while and saw stuff and um, and looked for inspiration in the visuals. But these days, like, you know, everyone's got an angle on everything, right. and it, it's really, uh, yeah, it's hard to find sort of like a, a little space, um, you know, peace of mind to represent it, uh, maybe your way of feeling about something. So right. that's what I'm trying to... I really, really hope that with the next recordings I'm, I can get more into this, like, direct, you know, the, the human soul and feeling coming out into the music and not thinking about, like, what club's going to play and stuff like right. that. Right, yeah. <laughs> uh, another question for you, then. Um, obviously, horror films have been an inspiration in the past. What's ins yeah. what, 